down for real. Cheer up, sir. You should be happy that we didn't die from the shipwreck. Most people do in events like this. It's very fortunate that we didn't. Shut up. You're so annoying. He receives these comforting words like cold oatmeal. Yeah, but he won't go down that easily. Look, there he goes again. He's like a clock winding up to strike the hour. Sir, if we let ourselves get down by every little sad thing that we would find ourselves what in... What a pain. Pain. Yes, indeed. Yeah. We would find ourselves in pain. You thought you were being funny, but you said the truth. You're taking this more seriously than I meant to. Uh, Therefore, sir... Doesn't he ever shut up? <sighs> shut up! I'm nearly done. Oh my god, he still won't shut up. Hey, let's make a bet. Which one do you think will start yammering first? Adrian or Gonzalo? The old one. I'll pick the younger one. You're on. What's the prize? A good laugh. That's a deal. Though this island may appear desolate, haha, <laughs> find you in. Uninhabitable and inaccessible as it were. Now he's going to say but. But? He had to say it. It's unavoidable. The island is mild and has a temperate climate. Under temperance, she was a fine girl. And mild, too. Always a breath of fresh air. Here. A breath from rotten lungs, maybe. Stinking like a swamp. <laughs> Kill him. This island contains everything beneficial to life. True. Except something to live on. There's little to nothing of that. Look how lush and healthy the grass is. How green. The ground is brown. With maybe a touch of green. He doesn't miss a thing. He just gets reality completely wrong. And the unbelievable thing is, and this is incredible. As most unbelievable things are. Our clothes were drenched in seawater and they still look brand new. If his clothes could talk, they'd call him a liar. Or stuff what he has to say in their pockets. Oh! Yeah. Seriously, I think our clothes are as fresh as they were the day that we attended the marriage of our king's daughter, Clarabelle, in Africa. That was a lovely wedding, and we're doing really well on our trip home. Tunis has never had such a fair queen. Not since the days of Widow Ditto. Widow Ditto, did you say? Ditto was from Carthage, not Tunis. Tunis was Carthage, sir. Carthage? I'm telling you, it was Carthage. Gonzalo is a miracle worker. If he said Carthage was here, then Carthage was here. What miracle will he work next? I think he'll carry this island home in his pocket and give it to his son like an apple. Then throw the seeds in the ocean and make more islands grow. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Indeed. Sir, we are saying that our clothes seem just as fresh as they did when we attended the marriage of your daughter, who is now the Queen of Tunis. The most beautiful queen they ever had. I beg your pardon, except for the Widow Ditto. Oh, yeah, except for the Widow Ditto. Isn't my vest just as clean and fresh as the day that I put it on? I mean, in a way. In a way is the right way to go. Just as the day that I wore it at your daughter's wedding? Stop talking about that wedding. I wish it had never happened. I lost my son and my daughter. She's so far away now that I'll probably never see her. I, I wish Ferdinand hadn't died in the ocean. He may still be alive. I saw him swim, swimming strongly towards the shore, keeping his head well above the waters. I have no doubt he made it to shore alive. Nah, he's dead. This is all your fault. If you hadn't shipped your daughter off to Africa, but instead let her stay in Europe, none of this would have happened. At least now she won't be around to remind you of your loss. Shut up! Everyone protested against you marrying her to Africa. Even she didn't want to, but only went along with it because you told her to. And the greatest sorrow is mine too. My Lord Sebastian, what you are saying is true, but the way you are saying it is tactless and at the wrong time. You are putting salt in his wounds when you should be applying bandages. Alright, I'll stop. It's always bad times, sir, when you're feeling gloomy. Bad times? Yes, indeed. Bad times. But if I were to colonize it, my lord? You'd cultivate it with weeds. Or thorn bushes. But if I were king, you know what I'd do? You wouldn't get drunk much since it's not any wine here. In my kingdom, there would be no schools, no literature, no commerce, and you know what? No social classes. There would also be no work, and men wouldn't work, women wouldn't work, and everybody would be innocent and pure, and also no kingship, you know? Be king in a place where there's no kingship? Yes. He's getting a bit
Everything would be produced without labor and would be shared by all. There would be no crime, punishment, or weapons. And nature would produce all of my, all the food in abundance for my innocent people. There'd be no marrying among the subjects? No, there'd be nothing to do. Everyone would be whores and slackers. Are you listening to me, sir? Shut up! You're talking nonsense. You're absolutely right, sir. I was just trying to give these gentlemen here a good laugh. They laughed at empty words. Ha! Huh. It's you, Ola. But from your perspective, I don't matter. I'm just a lonely nobody, and the words I say are just empty. Ouch. What a comeback. Sure did. Too bad it fell flat. You're a brave gentleman. If the moon got stuck in orbit, you'd push it out. Yeah, and then right after we fix the room, we'd go bird hunting. Don't be angry with us, my lord. I'm not. I've just got good judgment. Laugh me to sleep, will you? I'm feeling very sleepy. Go to sleep and listen to us laugh at you. Just <laughs>